Mushroom Wonderland. Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Aaron Hilliard for Mushroom Wonderland. I just wanted to check in with you because I'm seeing reports of a new mushroom poisoning in the news as of today, May 3rd, 2024. And I, this is from Food Poisoning uh, News, <laughs> an online resource. I'll put the link in the description, but it says an idyllic wedding celebration turned into a nightmare for more than 100 guests in Mexico at the lavish reception, which should have been a joyous occasion, quickly descended into chaos as the guests fell violently ill after consuming their meals. Um, supposedly, uh, wild mushrooms were accompanied with goat cheese and a tomato coulis that was a suspected culprit. The exact type of mushrooms um, hasn't been released yet, I guess, which I'm, I'm very curious to know uh, what kind of wild mushrooms they picked in Mexico. But um, emergency services rushed to the scene and transported um, approximately 80 people to the hospital. Uh, the severity of the poisoning led to widespread panic. Um, so people were freaking out. There's a video somewhere of everybody all crouched over, throwing up, waiting for ambulances to arrive. The health authorities are investigating the incident to determine the exact cause of the poisoning. While wild mushrooms are a delicacy in some cuisines, their consumption can be risky if not handled properly. Consumption, consumers are always advised to select caterers and events organized with good track records. Um, so yeah, that is pretty crazy. But it looks like everybody was released from the hospital about six hours after ingesting these mushrooms. So um, it'll be curious to see how this develops. I'd like to do an update on that. But just trying to keep you current on the mushroom news. Since we recently were talking about the morel poisonings that happened last year in uh, Bozeman, Montana, and uh, and the case of the attorney from Missoula who died after eating morels in Utah. Um, you know, there's a lot of like mycophobic news out there right now, but, um, you know, handling of wild mushrooms, uh, it is, it, you know, it's a kind of a, it's, it could be dangerous, you know, you gotta know what you're doing a little bit. So if you're gonna forage wild mushrooms, make sure that you're sure about your identifications and even then, you know, like the case of Peter Dayton, he ate those morel mushrooms. You got to know how to cook them. I think he just didn't um, didn't cook them long enough. They were just put into a jet boil with some water and thrown right into like instant rice. And he had a bad reaction. And unfortunately, he lost his life as well as two people in Bozeman, Montana, after eating raw morels. It is morel season. Be careful. Don't be eating raw morels. Make sure they're cooked. Um... Even gyromitra esculenta, you know, it has hydrazines in them. And the other gyromitras, like the snowbank morels, those ones can contain uh, gyromitrin, supposedly. But if it, it breaks down at 189 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you got it to boiling, you have effectively broke down the hydrazines in those mushrooms. The toxins, however, in morels, not as well known. But um, I think you should just treat it like chicken um or pork and make sure that it is uh all the way that they're all the way cooked but um you know this got me into looking into the 2023 case of the woman accused of poisoning her former in-laws in um australia i don't know if you guys have heard about this case but a lady named aaron patterson on uh, july 29th of last year invited all of her former in-laws so her ex-husband and his parents and sister um, over for a lunch where she cooked a beef wellington. Um, according to her, she added in some wild mushrooms that she got from an Asian grocer uh, about 70 miles from her house. They were dried. She reconstituted them, put them into this beef wellington. Um, it's suspected that the meal contained Amanita phylloides. She's facing um, three murder charges and five counts of attempted murder the case is set to resume this May of 2024. So she is, um, uh, let's see, police confirmed on the 14th of August that Patterson provided them with a detailed statement in which she said that she bought dried mushrooms from an Asian supermarket in Mount Waverly, about 73 miles away, three months before the lunch. She also said that she initially disposed of the food dehydrator that the police found um, at this transfer station. Um, after people began accusing her of intentionally poisoning the meal. So she is, 
She knows her mushrooms. She picks wild mushrooms enough to have a dehydrator. And I can't believe that this has happened and I'm so sorry that they have lost their lives. And she threw the dehydrator out. They've been going through forensic testing to see if there was traces of Amanita Floydes in that dehydrator. Um, craziness, right? So on, uh, I'll just break it down really quick. This is from Wikipedia, but it says on the 29th of July, she cooked beef Wellington, beef Wellington for uh, lunch for her former in-laws, Don and Gail Patterson, both 70 years old. Gail's sister, Heather Wilkinson, and Heather's husband, Ian, at her home in Leongatha, Victoria, Australia. She claims that her two children went to the movies at the time of the lunch. It is suspected that the meal contained the death caps. The following day, all four guests were admitted to the hospital with suspected gastrointestinal upset. Uh, Patterson went to the hospital with reported stomach pains and diarrhea. On August 4th, five days after the lunch, Gail Patterson and Heather Wilkinson died in a hospital and the investigation was launched by the police. On the 5th of August, Don Patterson also died in a hospital. And so Ian Wilkinson was discharged from the hospital on the 23rd of September after having received a liver transplant. So this is crazy. This is real. This is happening in our world right now. Um, a funeral for his wife, Heather, was held on the 4th of October. So um, she will uh, be remanded uh, in custody to face court on the 3rd of May, 2024. So that's today. So interesting to see how this all turns out. Um, just getting you updated on the uh, mycophobe news here. I'm not trying to spread mycophobia. Just trying to keep everybody updated to what's going on in the myco community. Just thought I'd check in with y'all. So thanks for watching Mushroom Wonderland. We'll see you on the next episode. Much love. I'm going to come back with an update. I'll put the links to that, uh, to the, to these things in the description of the video. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.